Shemot chapter 16. And they set out from Elam, and all the congregation of the children of Israel came to the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second new moon, after their going out of the land of Mitzrayim. And all the congregation of the children of Israel grumbled against Moshe and Aharon in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said to them, If only we had died by the hand of Yahweh in the land of Mitzrayim, when we sat by the pots of meat, and when we ate bread to satisfaction. For you have brought us out into this wilderness to put all this assembly to death with hunger. And Yahweh said to Moshe, See, I am raining bread from the heavens for you, and the people shall go out and gather a day's portion every day, in order to try them, whether they walk in my Torah or not. And it shall be on the sixth day that they shall prepare what they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. And Moshe and Aharon said to all the children of Israel, At evening you shall know that Yahweh has brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim, and in the morning you shall see the esteem of Yahweh, for he hears your grumblings against Yahweh, and what are we that you grumble against us? And Moshe said, In that Yahweh gives you meat to eat in the evening, and in the morning bread to satisfaction, for Yahweh hears your grumblings which you make against him. And what are we? Your grumblings are not against us, but against Yahweh. And Moshe said to Aharon, Say to all the congregation of the children of Israel, Come near before Yahweh, for he has heard your grumblings. And it came to be, as Aharon spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel, that they looked toward the wilderness and see, the esteem of Yahweh appeared in the cloud. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, I have heard the grumblings of the children of Israel. Speak to them, saying, Between the evenings you are to eat meat, and in the morning you are to be satisfied with bread, and you shall know that I am Yahweh your Elohim. And it came to be that quails came up at evening and covered the camp, and in the morning the dew lay all around the camp, and the layer of dew went up, and see, on the surface of the wilderness was a small round substance, as fine as frost on the ground. And the children of Israel saw, and they said to each other, What is it? For they did not know what it was. And Moshe said to them, It is the bread which Yahweh has given you to eat. This is the word which Yahweh has commanded. Let every man gather it according to each one's need, an omer for each being, according to the number of beings. Let every man take for those who are in his tent. And the children of Israel did so, and gathered, some more, some less. And they measured it by omers, and he who gathered much did not have too much, and he who gathered little did not have too little. Each one gathered according to his need. And Moshe said, Let no one leave any of it until morning. And they did not listen to Moshe, so some of them left part of it until morning, and it bred worms and stank, and Moshe was wroth with them. And they gathered it every morning, each one according to his need. And when the sun became hot, it melted. And it came to be, on the sixth day, that they gathered twice as much bread, two omers for each one. And all the rulers of the congregation came and told Moshe. And he said to them, This is what Yahweh has said. Tomorrow is a rest, a Sabbath, set apart to Yahweh. That which you bake, bake, and that which you cook, cook, and lay up for yourselves all that is left over, to keep it until morning. And they laid it up till morning, as Moshe commanded. And it did not stink, and no worm was in it. And Moshe said, Eat it today, for today is a Sabbath to Yahweh. Today you do not find it in the field. Gather it six days, but on the seventh day, which is the Sabbath, there is none. And it came to be that some of the people went out on the seventh day to gather, but they found none. And Yahweh said to Moshe, How long shall you refuse to guard my commands and my Torot? See, because Yahweh has given you the Sabbath, therefore he is giving you bread for two days on the sixth day. Let each one stay in his place. Do not let anyone go out of his place on the seventh day. So the people rested on the seventh day. And the house of Israel called its name manna, and it was like white coriander seed, and the taste of it was like thin cakes made with honey. And Moshe said, This is the word which Yahweh has commanded. Fill an omer with it to keep for your generations, so that they see the bread with which I fed you in the wilderness, when I brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim. And Moshe said to Aharon, Take a pot, and put an omer of manna in it, and set it down before Yahweh, to keep for your generations. As Yahweh commanded Moshe, so did Aharon set it down before the witness, to keep, 
and the children of Israel ate manna forty years, until they came to an inhabited land. They ate manna until they came to the border of the land of Canaan, and an omer is one-tenth of an ephah.